We're just going to take one more testimony before we move on. One more testimony. Minister Lena. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Afternoon, church. I have another testimony for quite a long time. Um, I just want to say that God has just been really working in my life. He is just amazing. He is never failing. He is just so faithful. My goodness. In our old church before we came here, I was going through a lot of health issues. And uh, Charlene, you've just brought back a lot of those memories. I couldn't walk. I could sit down. I could just about stand up. I was having back pain, every bone pain you could possibly have. It was going through my body. I was approaching 50 and I was thinking, is this it? Is this what's going to happen to me? I'm just going to, you know, fall apart. And I'm telling you, you just have to remember what God has promised you. You have to remember. He gave me the joy. The joy of the Lord is in my heart. So why am I? I'm not aging. I don't know about you. God said I have to, we have to come as a child, yeah? We have to come as a child. And the reason why that is is because children are so open and they're so trusting. There's not a, hmm, is that true? Hmm, can I trust that person? Hmm, can I trust that word? Can I trust what I read? They're not questioning it. It's a blind faith that children have. If mommy and daddy say it's okay, it's okay. If daddy says you can go forward, you can grow, you will be strong, you will be powerful, and you will, I have given you the authority to walk in my word, then I'm going to do that. Because God showed me when I was going through what I was going through, for the first part, I was leaning on myself. Partly leaning on God, majority leaning on myself, yeah? And I didn't realize I was doing that. But my goodness, hey, sekerebaba kosondorebaba kata. My Lord, you have taken me through. It is nearly my birthday. I'm I'm telling you now. The woman that I was four years ago and the woman that I am standing here today. My Lord, you have taken me through. When people had given up on me, when I had given up on myself, God took me through. When I thought I couldn't do any more, when I thought this is me, I can't be any bigger or better than this. God said, that's what you think. That's what you think. I am telling you, you are more. Okay? So let me tell you something now, please. If there's one thing you pick up from me today, have faith. Don't worry about what you're feeling. If, listen, the devil will come with you, come to you with lies, on lie, on top of lies, on top of lies. And he will send people your way to confirm his lies. But then you need to shut them people down. Thank you very much, but that's not what my father told me. But you can take that. That's not coming home with me. When the doctor said to me, hey, send it up, son, do baba, cut, tada, baba, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the doctor said to me, I have osteoarthritis, and I wasn't even 50, I shut that down in the name of Jesus. That was not my portion. That was not my portion. And let me tell you something now. Sometimes you have to be obedient to God. It doesn't matter what people are thinking about you. It doesn't matter what people are saying about you. If God says to you, take time out, don't worry about anyone else. You spend time with me. Let them say what they have to say. Let them think what they have to think, but just know God has you. And when he gives you a command, be obedient. My Lord, had I not been obedient, I do not know where I would be today. So I'm going to stand here and I'm going to love my new shape, by the way. And I'm going to give God my thanks. I'm going to give him all the glory that he deserves. And let me tell you something now. You hear it said all the time, but I'm going to say, don't sweat the small stuff. The most important thing is him. I cannot say enough. Believe me, I wish I had heard this when I was going through what I was going through. Because some people don't like to be real. Believe me, they don't like to be real. And when I was going through it, I'm so sorry I'm going on. When I was going through it, the doubt, the hesitations, the things that I used to lie to myself about. My Lord, and that was when I was leaning on my understanding and not his. But my gosh, (laughs) he has taken me through. And not only has he taken me through, he's not just restored me. He has renewed me. 
He has renewed me. And I tell you something now, before when God used to give me gifts and talents, and as Billy said, you don't have to say it out loud. Sometimes you just have to think it. Yeah? When I pray, instant. Instant. Because the faith that I have in him, he's never failed me. And when I lost that, when I lost that, instead of going deeper into him, what did I do? Oh, oh no, this is not good. What's happened? What's happened to me? I'm not questioning myself no more. Now it's just him. It's a blind faith, a blind faith. Just walk like you have a blindfold on. And just know that God is going to lead you, guide you, take you through. He will not fail. He never fails. He is unfading. He will take you through. When I bowl into meetings at work, this little five foot nothing, yeah, who had no experience before I stepped into the role that God blessed me with. I never applied for it. He gave it to me. When I bowl into them meetings and they see this five foot nothing come in and stand there and say, no, we're not doing it. No, we're not going to do it that way. And they're looking at me like, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I have a blind faith. And I know that God gave me the authority. And if God has given me the authority, he, has, he will give me the way to do it. So just honestly, don't doubt yourself. Don't watch what the person next to you. Don't watch Apostle. Yeah, you watch him. <laughs> just don't watch people around you. Just trust in him, you know. And it's not about you. It's about him, okay? And believe me, we're going to be judged. We're going to be called names. We're going to be told, she cuckoo, man. She cuckoo. Yeah, it's all good. But you know what? Actions speak louder than words. This same little five foot nothing girl that walked into the hospital and did what I had to do in Jesus' name is the same little girl that people now respect. The same little girl that people see God working in her life to a point where, how, how did you do that? How was that? Well, it weren't me, it was him. When people come and ask me now, I don't even have to respond. They're just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They know. I don't need to say it now. They know it's him. So believe me, just have faith. Keep persevering. Keep going on. As Charlene said, when you was on your knees getting ready, there was no one helping you but God. Yeah? And he took you through. You're here, aren't you? You're stronger, aren't you? Yes, and renewed in Jesus' name. So just keep going. Keep going forward. And don't let no one hold you back in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That was so powerful. I hope you've been encouraged. Isn't God good? He's done some mighty, mighty things.